Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Mick from Oztrax 4x4 here. Just doing a bit of a road test on this long range tank as well as checking out a new campsite and a little bit of four wheel driving fun this weekend. So, just pulled up on the side of the road here at a rest stop. And yeah, we're just gonna go check it out. So, so far long range tanks, amazing. Um, I highly recommend doing the modification if you have the funds to do so. Um, it's a really good mod. So far, I'm almost at 700 k to so three quarters of a tank. That's combined highway and city driving. So it'd be even better out on the highway. Uh, haven't even touched the sub tank yet either, which is really good. So, um, yeah, I will continue on shortly. I'm almost where I need to be. I'll grab some lunch. Um, we'll check out some four wheel driving and head into the campsite. And yeah. Should be good. I'll catch us in a little while. Just above a quarter of a tank left. And yeah, that's it. So just pulled up on the side of the road here. Checking out. Checking out everything. Obviously no music on the moment because I'm recording, but yeah, it's all my setup here. Phone on this side. Just runs everything. Notifications and whatnot. My HEMA maps is there, which you've seen the previous Simpsons video, so um, I may release some of my campsites on the HEMA cloud for those who do have a HEMA and And yeah, that's where we're at at the moment still considering if I'm gonna do that or not um, Anyway We'll uh, continue on And I'll get into where I need to go and then um, yeah, we'll check out some of these uh tracks and stuff around the place by the looks of it got a few on this here so i'll be back with you in a little bit hopefully once i'm making up some lunch maybe somewhere where it's not windy because it's super windy here and i need to boil some water so i'm having noodles because i live dangerously awesome guys see you in a bit
lots of opening and closing gates at the moment. So let's get through this one. Have to do this one handed, probably not. Come back a bit. Come on. There we go. So remember guys, when you're going through places that have access tracks uh, and they say close the gates, close the gates because there are cattle and stuff around here. And, and, uh, and yeah, you know, you don't want them getting out. So there's a bunch of sheep on this property. But. So I think I've got to go to the left here and not the right. Just looks like there's more of a defined track on this side. So we'll soon see how we go. Um, that gate was pretty damaged, wasn't great. So heaps of wire and stuff over the tracks too. So you gotta be really careful of that so you don't get a puncture or anything. But uh, we'll keep going. Um, the track didn't go where I thought it was gonna go. So on here, we were meant to have gone left, but there was no left track. So it's uh, decided to curve back around and down the hill here. So, so we'll see how we go on that one and we'll keep continuing on. All right, so just rocked up at the campsite. Uh, this is Red Banks Conservation Park. It's like one other car here and they're way over the other side, so it'll be good. Uh, I've had one person drive past who I thought was following me, um, but they went, so that's all right. So, so yeah, this is a bit of a campsite here. I'll back up in a second, I'll show you. And um, yeah, it's actually not bad. We better better get the awning up so I don't get roasted in the sun, but yeah, I'll uh, do a bit of a pack up video or unpack a video even. So you'll see me set it all up. So, so yeah, it's my campsite here. So not bad at all. Looks all right. So pretty uh, pretty roomy for what I want. Decent spot. It's a nice flat ground. So. So yeah, we'll set up here for the night and uh, I'll get some lunch happening because I am starving. All right, so getting lunch ready. Get my billy out, teapot billy. Haven't used that in a while, should be all right. Yeah, no, nah, it's good. Add some water to that, add some water to the boiler, add some water to the nudes and, and we'll be sweet. There'll be no worries. I am starving. So, that there. There's flies, man. Flies are crazy. Look at the heaps of water. So I brought with me about 40 liters of water. No, I don't need all that much, but it was better for me to fill them both up in case something happens. Then not to have them filled up at all. So I'll set up the swag later. Make sure this is all gonna rinse off. Always forget to do that. So with these butane camp stoves, if you flip over the base, it then it all locks it together. Allows it to work and not get activated by accident in the vehicle. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> good thing there. Lose my voice. All right. Beautiful. Get that boiling. Get my noodles ready. I shouldn't take too long for that to boil. We get to have some lunch. Man, I wonder what the time is. I haven't checked that. Should probably have a look. Grab my phone out because I can, and I do actually have phone reception here. Wait. 
Josh's got 4G. So if I have a decent reception tonight, I'll uh, I'll do a live stream. Maybe on Instagram. And uh, and yeah, I'll answer some questions. So that should be good. Um, yeah, I'm keen. So, all right, I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Once this is boiled. All right. So while we're waiting for those noodles to reheat from the boiling water, um, ideas for this year. Plan on doing a lot more solo trips. Get out there for you guys. Um, Mods I'm pretty well getting towards the end of for what I need to do anyway. Um, be a few more interior things, bits and pieces. Uh, roof console. I'm going to relocate the radio up there. Possibly a rear locker. Maybe. So we go on that one. Um, other than that, suspension is done. Sliders are done. Bull bar is done. I don't think I'm going to go a rear bar. Just for what I do. Um, and, and yeah, that's it really. Like, it's not a whole lot I really need to do to this now. Um, to to get it where I want it, a rear locker would be nice. Um, but that all comes down to money. Um, Regearing the diffs would probably be nice too, but that also comes down to money as well, and whether I can do it cheaply or not. So, um, yeah, regarding the speedo corrector, that video is coming up soon if not before this one and, and yeah I'm pretty well up to scratch mate so it'll be more the plan is to do a lot more trips so be either solo or with people so I know I have a trip coming up I think it's April March April somewhere around there um, out to do the border track again uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes on that now that I've got the uh, 285s on it which are awesome by the way um, nothing scrubs which is great there's a lot of work involved to get that done so that'll be another video where I'll actually take the wheel off and go over all my suspension set up properly in the front end and and the rear um, yeah so just onwards and upwards from here mate so there'll be a lot more a lot more trip videos coming up where I go I'm not sure um, See, time will tell. I'd like to get over to the Vic High Country, but with current COVID issues, locking everything down, it's not really going to happen um, at this stage. Though I'd love to do a snow camp or something like that. It would be good. Cape York, maybe later this year. I'm actually con considering doing that. So, God, these flies. Leave me alone. So, yeah, Cape York is the, uh, is on the on the list for this year too. So, it'll be a five-week trip, I believe. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to eat, and I'll be back soon. All right, guys, so... I'm going to pack up here, pack up my table, pack up my butane burner, and I'm going to head down to Borough Gorge, which is at World's End Reserve. And I think there'll be a bit more to do down there. Probably a bit more tree cover, it's quite hot here. So I'm going to do that now. I've got plenty of time to kill, and it's not that far away. It's only about 20 minutes. So now we'll pack up, and we'll be on the road again. All right, guys, so the trip didn't really pan out. It was uh, very windy and had heaps of people rock up around me which i was hoping to do a solo trip and not have to listen to a generator from a caravan next to me going all night so i decided i'll can the trip and i'll come home and here i am so <laughs>